Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can actually reduce input lag, you know, reduce input delay within Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5. Since the new season dropped, I've dropped FPS boost videos, how to lower ping, but this is one thing I just never covered. So yeah, I just thought I would provide this for you guys. And also, what I'm going to cover in this video, I don't think anyone else has ever spoke about. Like, literally, they're going to be new methods. Every time I make videos like this, I always try and show you guys new and updated methods. So that's what I'm going to provide you guys. Completely unique method so this should really help now if you go ahead to enjoy the video all I ask for you guys literally all I ask is that you hit that thumbs up button drop a like for me it literally takes two seconds these videos take hours to make and that's something you can do to really support the channel and support the video you know it pushes it out to further people and you know if you want to get the extra mark you can also subscribe to the channel post notifications on there for you never miss an upload just like this on the channel and you know yeah it's completely free I'm dropping a face at 75,000 subscribers so do that as you wish and without further ado let's get straight into the video Alright, so we are going to get straight into this, but first of all, I'm going to explain how I'm going to almost structure this video. What I'm going to do is show you guys some general PC system things you can do on your computers, on your PCs, things that you're almost doing in Windows to reduce that input lag, reduce that latency to your game. Then I'm going to show you some things that you can do actually on the game itself. So a lot of this will tie together, but some of it just won't. And it will just be things you can do solely in game. And a lot of it will also be targeted towards your controller players out there. So if you're on a controller, you are in luck for this video. Of course, again, there will be system wide changes. So whether your keyboard and mouse, whether your controller, it won't matter. Matter. but for your controller guys in particular this video will help that a little more and now the first tip as you guys can see I'm over my desktop here we are doing the system wide changes what you want to do is head over to your control panel now this will only work I'm pretty sure if you're on an Nvidia GPU so you have this right here the Nvidia control panel you probably know how to access it but you want to right click your screen go to Nvidia control panel you just want to click this here or you can go to your little search bar and type in Nvidia and it should come up now mine doesn't for whatever reason but mine's here so that doesn't really matter just go to your control panel and once it's open you want to go to your manage 3d settings tab also may I just now a lot of you Intel AMD people are probably going crazy right now I'm sure you have like an alternative setting for what I'm about to mention so if you do I guess you can mirror that but then if you don't I guess just skip this step or I'm gonna be on it for like 30 seconds so just carry on watching and we'll get to the next step which should help you but assuming you are an Nvidia user and you are at this point right now what you want to do is scroll down until you see low latency mode so this right here now this is where you may need to change this and it's also dependent on one thing in particular now a lot of you guys probably have this set to ultra right low latency mode it reduces it literally says right here the latency control reduces latency right now what that's gonna make you think is like why would I not want this on ultra of course if it's on the highest setting I'm getting more benefits from this and it's reducing more latency now that right there that isn't entirely true there is a rule for this and most of you guys will probably want this off it's actually dependent because if I load up my phone right here and go to settings as you can see I'm using performance mode now for you guys that are using performance mode you'll want this turned on so you want this right here set to on not ultra trust me just change it to on and now that is only if you have your rendering mode in Fortnite set to performance and this is because right here on your NVIDIA reflex low latency it says right here this setting is disabled when performance mode is selected so because it's already disabled you want to actually now re-enable that technically with the performance mode still being turned on and active and then re-enable that in your control panel and now for you guys that are either playing DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 what I recommend is you actually turn this off so you don't want this feature at all and the reason for that is because what you want to do instead is actually of course assume you have DirectX 11 or 12 selected for your rendering mode you will be able to actually change this option right here NVIDIA reflex low latency and it won't be disabled so what you want to do is just change this to on plus boost so you have it turned on in here basically instead of having it turned on in your nvidia control panel and then on the flip side for you people that are using performance mode in fortnite of course because you can't have it turned on here instead you want to have it turned on in your control panel it, that's just kind of how it works so once again for any confusion if you have performance mode selected make sure you have it on in your nvidia control panel low latency mode is turned on and if you're using either direct x11 or 12 make sure to turn it off in your control panel and instead have it set in here to on plus boost it's that simple and now for the next tip I know I'm sorry I did say we do more Windows optimizations this I'm only gonna mention now why I'm here because it just makes sense it's more convenient for me but we'll be doing one more Windows optimization after this but this right here what I'm about to mention is just for in-game in your Fortnite in your settings right here and what I'm going to mention I mentioned it in a full video I literally made an entire video talking about this but it's multi-thread rendering mode now a lot of you guys will probably want to have this I'm assuming if you have potatoes you'll probably want to have this turned off either way and as you can see if you have performance mode selected so you are using performance mode which i'm sure a lot of you guys are by default it does say right here as well for this setting disabled when performance mode is selected now the reason for that is because if you're using performance mode you most likely have a lower end pc and because you have a low end pc multi rendering doesn't need to be on because it does more bad than good as it does say here on the little description although this can improve performance on multi-core processors this can also cause hitches and lower fps on weaker and lower end hardware so if you guys are using performance mode anyway this is going to be disabled and if you're using performance mode either way if this wasn't to be disabled you'd probably 
probably want to have it disabled anyway just because you have a lower end system and the rule for multi-thread rendering either way it's if you have more than four cores on your cpu you'd have it turned on but then again that's where like that kind of rules out because if you are using performance mode again i'm just assuming a lot of you may have low end pcs you probably don't have more than four cores on your cpu like even i don't have more than four cores i have on the dot four cores so having this turned off for me actually it works better fps wise and generally performance like having this turned off which i probably should have mentioned already it lowers input lag i really feel like it does i've had this turned off for so long now of course i'm using performance mode so this is turned off by default and i noticed my game feels so much more responsive so yeah all i'm saying right here i kind of stuck on this for too long just turn this off if you want to get the lowest input lag and that even applies to you guys using DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 just manually turn this off because it won't be automatically disabled i'm sorry if that was a little confusing and now the third tip this is kind of a system wide thing it would be to download no ping now as you can see i'm on the no ping website right here i will leave a link down below so you guys can actually download this application all you want to do is click on the link in the description create an account like so once you create an account you want to log in right here as you can see i'm now logged in you then want to go to settings and as you can see no ping actually has an option to both boost your fps and there's also something called turbo gains and it says right here this function improves the keyboard response time literally that's what it does it gives you one-to-one -one response time to your keyboard which in turn reduces that input lag and makes your game more responsive so even if you guys are going to download no ping which is predominantly an application to lower your ping so yeah i guess you can use it for that but for whatever reason you don't want to use it for that you can just download it and simply use it for this one feature right here and as long as you have this application at least minimized in the background while you're playing a game don't worry it doesn't take much cpu usage like isn't going to be an issue it just minimizes down to your display tray you have this running in the background you have this feature in the settings on its application turbo games enabled your game will feel a lot more responsive because it's cutting down the input lag you know that latency between your game and it's giving you the best response time to your keyboard as it literally says now that will only work for you guys with keyboards and once again the link will be in the description so you can download no ping i am actually affiliated with them i know that doesn't mean i make commissions from like so you guys basically download the application being honest and open review i'm not getting actually paid for that me being affiliate just means you actually get no ping for cheaper if you want to buy it you actually do get a free day trial with a link in the description and then unfortunately you will have to buy a subscription i think it's three dollars a month which is super cheap for this feature which really does help but lucky enough for you guys that's actually where me being an affiliate it comes into play and I actually can do things like what I'm about to do now and that's actually give away seven day trials to you guys you know you can only get this thing for three days with a link in the description of course you want to do that to even download this software but once you've downloaded it I'm actually doing a giveaway right here in this video and I will be giving away 37 day free trial no pin codes now how you guys can actually enter this giveaway the rules for this what you guys will need to do is drop a like on the video also be subscribed to the channel you don't need to join my discord server I will link it also at the top of the description down below the reason you will need to join that is because that's why I'm going to announce all of the winners for this but once you've joined the discord you've done the other two steps you then just want to literally comment down below comment the word done so d-o-n-e when you've completed all of these steps super simple stuff literally just like the video subscribe join my discord comment when you've done and yeah you are now officially entered i'll be drawing the winners over the next 40 hours in my discord server and now finally for the in-game tips this one will be for all of you guys whether your controller or keyboard it doesn't really matter but replay modes just make sure you do have all these turned off i'm sure you all have this done anyway but all your replays have these all turned off because if any of these are turned on basically that means you're game is continuously recording in the background that's more processes for your game to handle and that'll also make your game feel quite choppy laggy and it just feels super delayed so in some way turning this off will reduce your input lag and now as promised over on my controller options i'm now going to tell you guys two optimizations for you guys that play controller to reduce your controller input delay and, and overall just reduce latency to your game what you want to do is go into of course controller options scroll all the way down until you see fuck controller what you want to do is turn this on and then set it literally to the lowest setting so i don't know what you have this on percentage wise but make sure it's set to one percent which is the lowest set and you then want to press apply and it's that simple you've now just reduced impa lag just like that now i'm not sure how this works i know flea mentioned this in the video but no one really knows the theory behind this it just works and it reduces the input delay and latency from your controller to your game and it should make everything feel a whole lot more responsive when building in particular and now another thing going over here to like the actual controller settings or keybinds in a sense what you want to do is make sure down here where it's a controller platform you don't have either xbox one or playstation 4 selected make sure you have generic so this one right here generic is selected and then just you may have to redo all your binds but just make sure your controller platform is set to generic because if it's set to xbox one if it's at the playstation 4 that means you're actually also getting a bit of input delay i'm not sure how or why this works but this just works a lot better this has been proven a lot of pros you'll notice have their controller platforms set to generic just for this reason right here it reduces input lag and yeah with that all being said that is all i have for you guys in today's video now if i went ahead to help you in any way shape or form the least you can do for me again is drop a like subscribe to the channel post notifications turned on therefore you never miss an upload just like this also don't forget code fetch in the fortnite am shop i hope everyone has an amazing day it's been your way fetch and yeah peace